Hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey. Taking a pose. Hi guys. Hi guys. So first I already started off with my face being moisturized because I know that Halloween makeup does tend to make it look dry and flaky if you don't do that. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking lash glue and putting that all over my eyebrows to smooth them out because I'm going to be recreating different eyebrows. And then with a the makeup wipe, just wipe off any excess because you don't want any unneeded bumps. Now I'm just taking a regular foundation stick and just putting that on top of the eyebrows to conceal them and make them even more disguised. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the airbrush machine that I have and I mixed a little bit of lime green and the aqua blue that I had to make the color for uh, the corpse bride. And if you don't have an airbrush, of course you can just do this with regular uh, makeup. You could use body paint or they sell cream makeups for special effect colors as well. So with whatever paint you're using, what you want to do is just cover your entire face with a light layer first just to get the color right and then go back and fix any patchy bits later on. And also if your costume is going to be showing any more skin than just your face, go ahead and do those areas as well. This makes up actually a really good thickness because it just went right over my tattoos and I didn't have to put more than one layer on. And don't forget to do your ears as well, because that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> then you should look something like that. Now I'm going in with just a regular blue for contouring and making the kind of fish face to get my cheekbones. And then under my jaw and in the temple and forehead area. Now since I'm being a corpse bride, I am uh, contouring my collarbones just to make them look even more sunken in. and moving around my neck to see which parts would be sunken in if I was dead. <laughs> now I'm going back in with a white highlight anywhere that I feel would be sticking out even more than the contours would be pulling in. And of course on the contour of your collarbones as well just because you want them to be really defined. And now I'm going around my eyes with white because I'm going to be making the huge uh, cartoon eyes that Emily has. And once you're done with that, what you're going to do is Tim Burton the crap out of your neck by making it pencil thin by painting black in the negative areas that you don't want your neck to be. And once you drew the lines out, just go ahead and fill the rest of that in. And now I'm going and putting the hole she has in her cheek. I'm starting off by just putting a, it in a black triangle that's pointing down towards my chin. And actually now I'm going in and I'm putting a worm coming out of her cheek because he's always been annoying and just sticking into her head all the time. So I thought it would be appropriate to add him into this look. Now I'm going around my eyes with a liquid eyeliner and just outlining what I want my eyes to be. And to save time I only recorded doing the one eye because I knew that if I did both it would make this tutorial even longer than I knew it was going to be. So obviously just do the same thing to your other eye. Once you're done with that, make little dots to kind of mark out the area and then connect the dots by making the eyelid that Emily has. And I'm going in with a darker blue eyeshadow than my actual uh, body eye colored and just getting that on the eyelid to make it look kind of more realistic. And then just go back in with the liquid eyeliner and create a few big 
like kind of over exaggerated eyelashes. And I stopped about halfway through just because I felt like that was more aesthetically pleasing. And of course, don't forget to your bottom lashes. And then in the center of your eyelid, just uh, close it and then make the pupil that would be when you look down. So then when you look down, your character actually comes to life. Now I am actually giving him a face, and anytime you see me looking down, I'm looking at the reference photo I have of him. Go ahead and just kind of draw him any facial expression you want him to be. It's really up to you. And I'm just doing all of this with just a regular black eyeliner pencil. And then don't forget to outline him because of course he is a cartoon. And here is where I knock over my table. Thumbs up for that face. <laughs> and then now what I did is I wiped off all the blue from my lips and now I'm just going in with a nice pink lipstick because Emily doesn't do red lipstick or anything like that. She just has a nice peachy pink. And now to create the Emily nostrils, all you're basically doing is just painting black triangles in the middle of where your nostrils are. And now I'm going back in with that same dark blue eyeshadow and contouring down my nose because she does have a really tiny skinny nose and then underneath it as well to make it kind of pointy like hers. And then just smudge that out with your fingers to make sure it's not too harsh. And now going in with the eyebrows. Sorry it's a little bit out of focus. They're always pointed up and then kind of a squiggle. So go ahead and just mark that out before you go because making it off is a lot better. And that's the finished look to you guys, and I hope you like it. Sorry a little bit run off of my chin. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll be making more YouTube tutorials on Halloween looks for the entire month. Thanks, guys. Bye. Shut up, Adam. <laughs>